And it's not among Russia and Ukraine. It's among President Putin and his craziness and the people of Ukraine who are fighting against. Support for Ukraine still going strong here in Huntsville. Dozens stood in solidar solidarity earlier today. The country has been invaded by Russia for two months now. We'll have more on what's happening in Ukraine later tonight. Thanks for joining us. Hope your first of the month is off to a great start. I'm Kenesha Dees. News is constantly changing, so much so that sometimes it can be hard to keep up or decide what issues to focus on. One issue that is currently taking place is a war in Ukraine. Our Nixon Norman spoke with local supporters who stand behind the country. Gas prices may be back to somewhat normal and less and less headlines may read war in Ukraine. But the people of Ukraine, their loved ones and supporters here in Huntsville have not forgotten about the devastation that is currently taking place in Ukraine. It's my country and it's just it pains me to see all this. So whenever I get a chance to be part of a rally like this, I can't not be there, you know? <laughs> Maya and her mother Anna joined the rally in support of their country and show the support in many ways, like raising donations for refugees and also wearing traditional Ukrainian attire. This is a traditional Vishavanka and this is a traditional headpiece and I just felt that they went together. I just want to represent my uh, Ukrainian nationality to the best uh, to the best of my extent. Another member of the Ukrainian support group Oksana is actually from Russia and explains that this is much more than a war between Russia and Ukraine. It's a war between Putin and humanity. And it's not among Russia and Ukraine. It's among President Putin and his craziness and the people of Ukraine who are fighting against. There is a lot of, yes, Russian people are blinded by propaganda, which uh, tripled in the last month. And, but about, a, I would say, at least a third of the people in Russia clearly understand what's going on. They just cannot do anything because we have a, um, it's like a concentration camp now. You would be arrested for any opinion, for any, you cannot stand like this with anything. You won't stand half a minute. You're going to be grabbed and dragged to jail. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.